you know, certainly today, uh, the, the rally has very much been driven by the Cushing news. Uh, as you mentioned, the 22 million barrel uh, level um, is quite important. Uh, many people in the market believe that if we get below those levels, uh, it, it's uh, it's going to be you know rough going uh, uh, to get crude out. Things are not going to be done in a timely manner and might be difficult to move material uh, <coughs> material out of that hub. Uh, but you know, uh, as we say that, and as markets get very excited by it, uh, we should keep in mind that Cushing isn't as critical as it used to be. Um, we are you know increasingly seeing Permian crude, for example. Uh, move into export markets uh, directly. Um, and so that may not be as critical. But, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're quite positive. Uh, crude, we've been positive since, uh, you know, $30 ago or so. Uh, the reality is OPEC uh, plus continues to be very, very disciplined on the supply side. And indeed, we're, we're seeing Saudi Arabia yet again extend its additional one million barrel uh, per day cut. Um, you know, that's going to be to the end of the year. When you look at the fourth quarter supply demand fundamentals, we're looking at a pretty robust deficit. That's on top of a pretty significant deficit uh, for this quarter. When the data comes out from the International Energy Agency and others, we will see uh, pretty significant deficits. So that market has tightened up quite a bit. And that is despite of the fact that China is performing uh, poorly uh, economically and we're not seeing as much uh, demand as we expected. We're looking at the U.S. Uh, heading into recession in the, in the months to come, uh, possibly countries in, in Europe as well. And despite of the, that fact, the market is tight, and that is very much a supply side. Uh, so we do think that prices could keep up near these levels uh, for quite some time.